Welcome back to SAD. In the constant struggle of figuring out what you all like out there in YouTube land, I have created another show. I'm calling it Console or Cinema. We've all only got so much time in our day. And if you're like me, you love both video games and movies. But which one do you spend your time with? There are a ton of movies out there that are based off video games and video games that are based off of movies. But which one is better, the console or cinema? The way I'm going to go about comparing the two is going to start with the movie. Yes, even if the game came first. I'm going to watch the movie and look for things that should be in the video game, like enemies and what the world looks like. And, of course, tell you if the movie freaking sucks or if it doesn't. Then I'm going to go play the video game and see if it's similar to the movie. And, of course, see if it's worse or better. And then I'm going to finish the whole video off by telling you whether console or cinema is more worthy of your time. Now let's kick this video off with watching a little bit of Mario Brothers. We're starting with Super Mario Brothers because it's a movie I loved way before I ever became a sad. And it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. It came out May 28th, 1993, and it was the first movie based on a video game, making it the perfect place to start for console or cinema. But that's enough talk. Let's see what this movie is all about. Alright, where did I put it? It is around here some... Aha! Got it. Alright. Let's get this started. A long, long time ago, the Earth was ruled by dinosaurs. They were big, so not a lot of people went around hassling them. Actually, no people went around hassling them because there weren't any people yet. Just the first tiny mammals. I believe it. You do? <laughs> I believe. Sixty-five million years ago, there were dinos and us humans that got separated into different dimensions. Oddly enough, that kind of fits. Uh, so let's start with talking about the good guys in the movie. Obviously, there's Mario and Luigi. It's, it's Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. According to the movie, Luigi is the main guy. He's gutsy, he gets the girl, and he takes charge of most of the situations. How are we gonna get across? I can make it. I, I gotta go feel. I'm gonna jump. Come on, cause somebody's gotta do it. We don't got no other choice, right? Luigi, this is I gotta go this is not miraculous practice! <laughs> There's Mario, the older brother. He doesn't seem to be very important, though. He really just seems like he's there to help Luigi make it through the journey. Faster what I tell you, huh? <laughs> it's a miracle. We made it alive. I thought you didn't believe in miracles, Mr. Tough Guy, huh? Then there's Daisy. Hi, it's Daisy. They build her up throughout the entire movie. And then all she does is she gets caught. She does, like, one or two extra things. And makes out with Luigi a little bit, and that's it. Enough said. Hi, it's Daisy. Now, let's talk about the bad guys in the movie. And immediately, you can tell Scapelli is the main villain of this movie. Because he is talked about a ton. Last Mr. Scapelli. Hey, Scapelli's down here, so Scapelli... Talking about Scapelli? Scapelli! Oh, no! Scapelli's flooding... Scapelli's... Scapelli's... Just an amateur. Scapelli. Scapelli? So that is almost a guarantee that Scapelli is going to be a big part of the video game because he has to be the most important villain in this movie. There are also two henchmen to Bowser, Iggy and Spike. They're meant to be the comic relief, but the only relief they provide is when they are not on screen. They say it's dark. Don't blow it this time. 
So Iggy and Spike finally kidnap Daisy and take her through this rock wall that Luigi and Mario have to follow her through. I only bring this crap up because I'm expecting to see it in the game too, since it plays a big part of the movie. And once the brothers make it into the dino dimension, crap hits the fan. And I don't really want to talk a whole lot about it because I don't want to relive it. They do get to the action pretty quick though, because you see an enemy right off the bat. An old lady with a freaking taser. <laughs> then there are the classic Goombas. Sorry, a lot of this movie makes me do that from time to time. But none of the villains are as dangerous or seductive as Big Bertha. And the way Mario has to defeat her is just a little strange. This is supposed to be a kid movie, right? Damn. Whoa. Oh yeah, and there's Bowser. Or I I guess I mean Koopa. So, Koopa is the bad guy. <sighs> but he freaking sucks. Uh, so, summary of the movie. Two plumbers that are struggling finally get a job and then they run into Daisy, an archaeologist, who digs Luigi. Welcome to Atlanta where the players play and we ride on the bags like every day. So, after some more terrible movie stuff... Iggy and Spike finally kidnap Daisy, Mario and Luigi go into the Dino Dimension, they end up fighting Bowser, or Koopa, uh, and if you're looking for much more story than that, you will be hard pressed to find it. Needless to say, there is not much hope that the video game is going to be very good based on what this movie is telling me. <sighs> Let's just get it started anyway. Right, no music in the title screen. Always the sign of a classic. Oh my! Oh! Oh my! Oh! Oh goodness! Mm. Jump! 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 Yeah. Yeah. Get around it. Get around it. Under. Under. Ooh. 
Wow. Well, I mean, Bowser's still pathetic, but at least he's not a human being that's really a dinosaur. And at least it's freaking fun to get to him. And the, the world is beautifully colored, it's all bright and happy, and I mean, yeah, you have to squash a couple of animals to death. <coughs> but that is a thousand times better than the bleak and fungus-covered world of the Super Mario Brothers movie. I mean, I didn't see any rival plumbers or any big-breasted fish that you have to fight or any of that weird stuff, but... I'm okay with it. The, I don't know where they got that stuff for from the movie. But I don't know. Game is great. And as promised, I'm going to have to pick which one is better. I got something for this. I just don't know where it is. Nope. 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 What? Diamond! Where is it? I don't know where the heck I could have. <gasps> Coco. Were you hiding it from me? <sighs> yes. Now it is time to judge. Mm. All right. Let's do this thing. The finished basement will soon be a holy place of video games and movies. But for now, it means one of your deaths. Let's get this over with. Okay. It is judgment time for one of you. I know you both feel like you should live. But that just ain't gonna happen. It's judgment time! Ah! Oh, crap! Ah, okay, using something different next time. Wow!